Hello, I'm Huddy, and also known as Lawrence, and I'm going to do a tutorial for Krita on how to make this image in Krita. Pretty much it's a bunch of, bunch of abstract disks, all kind of layered together, and they're all shiny and awesome. And let's get started. So, open up Krita, and start with a blank canvas, like so. First step is we need a brush that changes color depending on which direction it is facing, or which direction you're drawing. So click the brush editor, move over to the size, set it up a notch so it's decently sized. Then we go to hue, check that box, and uncheck pressure. First check drawing angle, then uncheck pressure. And we don't see an effect yet because we haven't actually set it to be a color. Now it should change color depending on which direction we're moving. And I like to turn off opacity. But that's just me. Next step is go over here to the um, multi tool, the radial perspective, and up the symmetry to a large number. Um, this box is probably up in the corner there. I move stuff around a little. Anyways, so first step is set an axis point. Middle is a good point to start. So just simply start moving. When you when you draw with a big thick brush, it just kind of merges into this nice, awesome color wheel. And you can just move your pen back and forth get interesting effects in and out quickly. Um, there's so much stuff you can do with this. And I'm probably going to speed over this section a little, because it's a little on the long side, but I'm just adding on disc after disc. I'm um, trying to vary them a little bit in style. And I'm just going to do this to fill the entire page. Okay, now that you've got your um, okay, now that you've got your entire page covered in colorful circles and probably are hypnotizing yourself, um, let's simply desaturate it. I know you don't want to, and now it looks kind of boring, but you kind of have to in order to get the finished product. Then next, we need to make a new layer. Um, we need to now we're just gonna buck in this new layer with the color. So, um, pick a knife, pick your favorite color, could be anything, blue works, blue's kind of my favorite color, and it doesn't matter that we're just coloring over everything, we're gonna make this work later, so, just color away, if you want you can add a darker patch in the corner, make it more interesting. Or even just use the gradient tool. That makes things easier. Then, over here, right under the Layers dialog, um, there's the Blending Modes. Go under Darken and hit Gamma Dark. Now we can see all of the um, disks underneath, and they all have color now. And you can still keep coloring. You know, let's say I wanted this corner to be dark red of a sort. I just, just color it dark red. And it works. And then the final step is duplicate your um, artwork layer, the one with all the disks on it. Go to filters, blur, 
lens blur, switch it to triangular, pop the radius a bunch, hit OK, and then switch your brush to eraser mode and erase the blur in specific points where you want to be able to see um, the discs clearly. The blur um, adds kind of a interesting effect, I guess you could say. Atmospheric? Not entirely sure. Anyways, and there's the completed image. Um, you can go have fun with it, figure out something else to do with the process, or make something more interesting. I don't know. Go ahead, try it out, have fun, and have a